Today we're going to talk about the future and what may or may not constitute a future classic. Could this be one of those? Probably not, but we're still going to talk about it. And you can see if you agree or not. So yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? I have the Vax Power 1 all finished, refurbished and I won't say looking lovely because it doesn't but it is certainly a lot cleaner than it was. The bin is now see-through, oh hello, the plastics are no longer covered in paint, underneath is no longer covered in plaster and it's generally looking okay. So turn it on and see if it works any better. So here it is, our bin find vax. Hasn't come up too badly. To be honest, the filter has been vacuumed, not washed because it's paper, but thoroughly vacuumed and is about as good as it's going to get. I've also sealed up the hole that was releasing all the suction. It was supposed to be there. I'd imagine that it's probably there to stop it from blocking itself up. When that gets carked up after about half a room, it stopped it from sealing itself up. But we've blocked it up now, so there we go. The release pedal is a bit loose, which is a bit of a shame. It's very worn. It's a very worn out machine, this is. It eminently, very apparent by the wheels. Now, they are greased. And even though they're greased, they're still very scratchy. In fact, one of them was nearly worn through on the axle. So it's seen a lot of use, has this old girl, well, young girl. This won't be that old. If we just turn it upside down, have a look at the brush roll, which is quite worn, actually. It's weird, it's sort of, it's one at an angle, so where it's turned the same way for so long and been used for God knows what, it's got very soft and very strange. But, this was never going to be a concourse project, in fact this, this shows the wheels. Smooth, smooth as silk, but does it work? Well, let's just check the suction first. It now works very well. In fact, it's just pulled that out. Oh, where is it? It's pulled a fair bit of dust out. Just from that little pass around. I mean, it's no Turbo Master. There isn't much grooming, but the brush roll is, I've never seen one quite like that. But there we go. Our bin fine Vax Power One. And my, my little ramble earlier on, about future, about the future. Because you see right now, this is a cheap, horrible, bagless vacuum. Nobody wants it, nobody loves it. It was thrown away. We picked it out of the bin, well, the side of the bin. But who knows, 30 years time, what would happen if one of these happened to come up on eBay, Gumtree or Preloved? 
This is an old Hoover, somebody might even call it vintage, retro, worth some money. Barn find in the car world. So what would happen if in 30 years time on vacuum land somebody said, look what I got at the car boot for a fiver. And the motor's burnt out and you can't get those anymore. Or the brush falls worn and you can't get those anymore. You know, the hose is split, you can't get those anymore. But somebody buy it. I mean, look at what's happening nowadays on the vacuum scene. There was, I wonder if people in the 70s thought that the Hoovers then would be worth so much now, that 6525C that Mr. Raw got for £600, the new box Dysons that keep going for an awful lot of money. Could happen, couldn't it? Who knows, we might, if I'm still going in 30 years' time, I might be dead, hopefully. A bit of a painless, painless experience. We might look back on this. Well, I just picked this up off the bin and somebody goes, oh, I've got one of those, it's great, but the wheel's broken, I, I need a wheel. Somebody might have one stashed away for parts, as happens now, who knows, because I'll be honest, these being so disposable, it could be machines like this that aren't about in 30 years time, I mean, you can still pick up Hoover Juniors, very common still, I mean, you, you might pay the price for a decent one, but this one was, this one was under a fiver because they were built to last, even turbo powers say. I shouldn't have planned this really. U1220, very common. You get loads of them, even though they're quite plasticky and horrible compared to the older stuff. You still see lots of these about. But things like this, they would have been thrown away. They would have burnt their motor out because they clogged the filter. They would have just been binned because nobody wanted them, like this one, when there's nothing really wrong with it. I reckon that's going to produce a gap in the market. So people aren't going to keep them, I'm going to sell this for a tenner. I did this for this video, if I hadn't said in the before video that I show you it afterwards, it would have just got wiped down with a damp cloth and I'd have got the hell rid of it. Put far too much effort into it that it's worth. But it would have been binned and I've reckon loads of these have only been 40, 50 quid new. Thousands of them would have been binned, tens of thousands of them would have been binned. I'm not surprised Vax even, even sell the filter anymore. So, that's going to be it. There's going to be people watching this now. Maybe the very young collectors. I don't know, do I have any young collectors watching my channel? I know some do, because some watch other channels. My Basiac's always saying about his younger viewers. So, if you're five years old watching this now, and when you're 25, you come across one of these, how would you feel? How would us collectors feel? I, mean, I can't say I would laugh at somebody in 20 years time if they said, oh, this is amazing, it's really good. But that might be the world we live in, who knows. But I'm going to stop rambling now and let you get on. So from this fax, Power One U88P1B, it is goodbye and thank you very much for watching and hopefully we shall find something a bit more interesting being thrown away next time. But probably not, it's going to be another one like this and we'll love it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.